great day for our community. And I think with the help of uh, Schooley Caldwell, uh, our contractor, Miles McClellan, uh, the Southwest Historical Society, and all the people who helped to cast the vision as to what we can do to try to restore it back to that era. But it is a unique property. It's a property owned by the founders. I can testify that the house looks a lot different from when they lived here. Um, they had a lot of uh, items, some very antique and historical, and others just preserving from the past. Um, but they uh, were special to them. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for the Grant and Sawyer families. We thank you for their insights and in looking to what this community could be, their settling here, and their foundations that we built on. We thank you for Ruth Jibinen and all that she has brought to this community, her long life that she lived here. We thank you for her dedication to the preservation of the past and her vision for this property. We thank you for the leaders of Grove City, especially Mayor Wright Stage, and the vision that he has for this property and the motivation that he shares with all those who serve in government. We thank you for the Southwest Franklin, uh, Franklin County Historical Society and the work that they've put in. We thank you for all who have worked on these buildings and grounds. We ask now that you bless them for the future, that they become a symbol for who we are as your people serving in this community. We ask that they may stand for years and be a foundation to build on as we go forward in the future. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. On behalf of the Southwest Franklin County Historical Society, of which it's currently my privilege to be president, uh, we thank a lot of people for what you see here today. Um, as the mayor said, the house has been restored to 1840 to 1880. Uh, the color scheme is correct, the roof is correct, the windows are correct, the front porch is correct, okay, as to what the house looked like when it was built. Inside, uh, some of the rooms are restored to 1860, others 1880, others 1845. And as you go through the house, we'll point that out. I only have one last thing I want to say to you. Uh, Schooley Caldwell, the company that supervised this uh, project, who have a tremendous reputation nationally for restoration projects. For example, they do Jefferson's campus at the University of Virginia. They're responsible for the state capitol up here in Columbus. Uh, Schooley Caldwell always appoints a, a national historian to be the go-to guy for the project. And it's been my privilege for the last several months uh, to talk from time to time with a man by the name of William Seal. You may never have heard of William Seal, but Mr. Seal uh, is uh, responsible for recording the history of a place that you all are quite familiar with. And that's a place called 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, the White House in Washington, D.C. He has okayed everything that we have done on this project down to bed coverings and tablecloths, okay? Uh, very meticulous, very conscious of what we're doing, and we appreciate what he has done. And I want to share with you as I close a quote from him. I had a tablecloth question for him a, about a week ago, and I sent my message off, and he snapped right back with a response. And when he was all finished, probably knowing that that was the last time we were going to have conversation with each other, he said, I simply want to say something to you and the people in Grove City. And he said, looking at what you have done and what you have accomplished, I have only two words, rejoice, rejoice. And so today is a day of rejoicing. It's good to have you all here. And if you're interested in walking through the house, go around to the front and we will be more than happy to greet you. Thank you very much.
for her vision and for the city for stepping up to it. So I'm going to read the resolution that is from the state of Ohio. It's signed by Speaker Cliff Rosenberger and myself. And says, on behalf of the members of the Ohio House of Representatives of the 103rd General Assembly, we are pleased to pay tribute to the Grant Sawyer Home. On the auspicious occasion of its dedication as a museum at the conclusion of the village sesquicentennial, July 1st, 2017. Ten. brought us. Now it is 1852 and this new settlement, this Grove City, already has two churches, nearly three. So it seemed logical that I could speak on that for the commencement ceremony. It was a matter of civic pride, I stated emphatically. It was Miss Sally Jones that went and told Dr. Hoover that I had no interest in our forefathers and only wanted to write about the mastodon bones. Well, that simply wasn't true. 